So I want you to check out this uh, Linux OS here, Nobara. Think of like Pop OS, but on steroids. Like everything is just like done. So I'm gonna take you over here. So this computer is actually running um, Pop OS, but let's go over to my gaming PC because I tried it on here. And here it is right here. Um, there's a couple things um, that I'd like to change. I'm just not the greatest at Linux. Um, but aside from that, like every single game that I throw at this, it just works. It's unbelievable. And so Pop! OS, a lot of times, I, I would argue, like when it comes to Steam gaming, yeah, usually everything works. But if you want to try to run something through Lutris, it starts getting a little more complicated. But in this, things that I had problems with, with Pop! OS and even Manjaro, uh, because this tower here used to run Manjaro, but now it runs, it's got no borrow on it. So let me show you what I don't like, and it's really minor and I'm sure you can change it. I just don't know anything about it. So when you close this, like see this, I like having this thing, this thing on the, oh, maybe I should point to it, like the, whatever that is called, the dock or whatever. When you go into your screen, it disappears. I don't like that. I want that always displayed, but I don't know how to change that on this. I don't know where in the settings or if you have to do it in the terminal or something. But if you click up here, you can get access to it. So that's the one thing I don't like about it. The only other thing I don't like about it is for example, I have two hard drives in here and uh, some of the games in, that I have on Lutris in here are on the other hard drive. So in order for me to do it, like when I click on other locations and I go to this hard drive, I have to enter in my password to get access to it, which is kind of annoying. But aside from that, those are the only two things that I don't like about it. But other than that, um, it's just nuts getting, um, I even notice um, when I'm playing games, I get uh, like crazy frame rate improvements. Like, I don't want to make it sound too crazy, but I feel like at some points it's probably like 20% increase. Like some of the games are just over the top. Um, um, we'll, we'll go through some of them though and I'll show you. But yeah, just the everything working to me is like the, is like the huge thing here. Um, apparently it like it supports variable refresh rate too. I haven't like tested that out, but let's try turning it on right now. Let's see what happens. Let's see. It took it. <laughs> it works. I don't know. Maybe I'll boot up uh, Crash Bandicoot because with that, that might help it out. Let's see what goes on here. So yeah, like some of these games, like. I get it, I'm just standing there right now, but uh, it's really hard for me to play and film at the same time. But this game, when I used to run it on Windows, was generally, I'd say it used to hover around like 110. I'd say on average now, it's hovering around like 160 FPS. And uh, depending on what you're doing, it can go from like 160 to like 240. Like it's just nuts. You can see it kind of up a little higher, but granted I am standing still and there's not a lot going on here. <clears throat> Um, Doom was the same. When I was playing Doom, uh, on Windows, I get, you. it's usually like 80 to like 120, and 120s in a closed space. But now, I'm never dropping below 120, and on Doom 1, I'm running from 120 to 160 on average. I have them on PS4, I might as well show you so you can see what game I'm talking about too. And when I run, um... Um, Ease 8 on the computer. I get it, this game's not programmed well. I guess it was, because it's, it's kind of old, right? Like for P by PC standards, because PC gaming got really like way better as kind of time went on. But this game, I can get it to run at like one, what is it running at? Like almost like 160 constantly, except when you talk to somebody, it goes down to 60. It wasn't really programmed for higher frame rates. But when I tested that out on Windows, it was the same thing. I could only get it close to 120. I couldn't get it to stay there. Yeah, I don't have a lot of games that like really push the boundaries of frame rates, but I was shocked to see this. And then even on this, like I have variable refresh rate working. Like that's wild. I didn't even think that was a thing for Linux, but apparently this guy supports it. This is another cool thing too, because um, right off the bat of installing this operating system 
uh, sorry, you can't even see that. You have, um, what's it called? Go Overlay, Mango HUD. You have Steam. You have Lutris. Um, you could start upgrading like the Proton, um, like the different, what I don't know what you call them, extensions or whatever that maybe certain game needs Proton 33 and then another one needs like 35. But yeah, this is just a game changer. So I highly recommend like check or at least just giving this a try like i've never seen anything like this like this is like i don't know it, it's far better than pop os and manjaro from what i've seen um i've seen some guys explain it though they're like you could do all this stuff that he's done but you got to know what you're doing i don't know what i'm doing so just to install an os like this um i highly recommend it uh let's just check it out one more time yeah, Nobara, and, I, and I'm kind of excited about it because I'm playing this game next. I've basically wiped out my Steam library in the sense that I've beaten everything on my Steam that I wanted to beat. So I'm going to play this. I want to get the second one for Switch because they both run at 60 FPS and they're good games. And then after, I might start getting some GOG games. I'm actually considering buying Cold Steel from GOG off there. But since I know that I can get these games running in Lutris... Just super cool. So highly recommend. Like I got nothing but good things to say about this. Check this out. Like this is so cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.